Hey guys, this is Inko. Welcome back to my channel. So it's my birthday tomorrow and this year's birthday is a little bit different than the ones before. I won't be able to celebrate it with a bunch of my friends, which is a little bit sad, but I have decided to make things a little more fun or a little more sad depending on how you see it. I am going to make my own birthday cake because I haven't had time to go out to buy extra ingredients. I am going to try and make a birthday cake using only the stuff I find currently in my kitchen. Whether that's my pantry, or my fridge, or my freezer. I am going to do a bit of scouting around and see if I can come up with something. And I'll make it in a tiny little cake pan like this, which is perfect for one person. Alright, so I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. Got some milk. Frozen whipping cream, have this user jam. I uh, don't have a lot of this. Uh, honey, my matcha. Okay, so after some scavenging, this is everything I've found. Some of these are just staples like my baking soda, my vanilla extract. I didn't have that much fruit, but I found some lemons. I love lemon flavor stuff. I have my milk, of course, which I keep at home for my Dalgona coffee. And then I have some matcha here, which means I'll most likely be making matcha cake. Honey, which should go well with the matcha. I also have some whipping cream that is currently frozen solid because it was expiring, so I threw it in the freezer. Hopefully if I let that just chill there for a while, it will melt again and I'll be able to use it in my frosting. Of course, I always have some eggs at home and some butter, and I have a little bit of pastry flour. Literally, I think there's only a cup in here. I have sugar, and then I have this yuzu tea at home. I love this usually because I can just add some hot water and it's like a very comforting drink, but today I think I might actually use it in either my frosting or my cake because it gives me an extra boost of citrusy flavor. So with all of this here now, I'm thinking I'll probably make like a matcha yuzu lemon cake of sorts. I don't know. It's going to be an adventure, but I think I know the flavors I'm going to go with. Citrusy and tea flavors, which sounds like something I would usually love. Yeah, hopefully this is going to work. So I am going to figure out the measurements as we go along and take it from there. Cool. First thing I'm gonna do is add some sugar. It's my birthday, so sweeter is okay. I'm going to add some honey because I like the flavor. I'm just gonna eyeball that. Let's go, let's go. I'm also melting my butter in the background because I want brown butter. I'm gonna mix this together. Okay, I'm using a handheld mixer today, which is my new gadget. Super excited. Since I have both milk and lemon juice, I'm just combining the two to make some um, emergency buttermilk, which should make the cake a little richer, hopefully. Toss that in there. I'm gonna swap bowls because this one feels a little small now. I'm going to add in a splash of vanilla. That's good. This is what the butter looks like now. It has this like super nice toffee flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So it's foamy, but it doesn't have as much volume as I wanted it there to be. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add our pastry flour and our matcha, as well as some baking soda. I'm also just figuring this out as we go. This is my fun little project. Also going to just zest some lemons for that lemon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this now. The batter is looking pretty good. It smells very nice. It smells like a honey matcha cake. Hopefully this turns out good. I am going to now scoop it in my baby cake pan. I'm gonna give it a little tap. Bye cake. Cake is in the oven and while I'm waiting for the cake to bake, I am going to get started on my 
frosting. I'm gonna be attempting a Swiss meringue buttercream, which is a little less sweet and also has a smoother finish, which I think I'll like a little bit more. I'm basically just doing things I like for this cake. Whether it's gonna turn out great or not, who knows, wish me luck. So once I've reached this stage where it's, you can turn it around, it's not gonna fall out. Ta-da, look at this. I'm gonna start adding in my butter, super soft butter, a little bit at a time, and we're gonna slowly beat it in. All right, now to add in my flavoring, which is a little bit of vanilla and my yuzu jam. Just a teeny little bit. I love how this smells. I could just drink yuzu tea all the time. I'm gonna go be generous. I forgot that the jam has sweetness in itself, so now it's almost overly sweet. I'm actually going to add a little bit of lemon juice to balance it back out, as well as some lemon zest. This is a lot of work for a birthday cake. Should be worth it. Hmm. I do think it's still a little on the sweet side. It's definitely very citrusy which I like. The texture is nice, it's very creamy, definitely feels very smooth, so I am quite happy with this. I'm gonna let it sit for a second while I check on the cake. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like honey matcha castella, which is literally one of my favorite cakes in the world. It's still really hot. I don't know how I'm holding it, but I'm gonna let it cool down now. I'm excited. Can this just be my birthday cake? I would be happy just with this alone. So it's been around an hour. I just had dinner and this is what I did to my cake. I basically just wrapped it up and then put it in the freezer to let it cool down really quickly, but still keep it moist. It smells really good. It smells like matcha. Unwrap it and I need to trim this top part off. It can be an uneven cake. Ooh. And this part, it smells really nice. It does have a light texture, but the flavor is surprisingly on point. I'm so surprised. I'm gonna keep this little bit. Before I get too carried away now, let's build. I have my not little cake stand. That Swiss meringue buttercream I made earlier. Dab here, because I want to make sure that the cake stays glued to the cake stand. The look I'm gonna go for is that of like a naked cake. You know, the ones where you kind of see the sides a little bit. Also, if you're running out of frosting, great solution. Second slice, okay, right on there. Just a little tiny two layer cake. All right, I'm gonna be piping more frosting on the top, but before then, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because it really is really warm in here, so the frosting's, you know, getting really melty super fast. So, I'm gonna let it chill a little bit and then we can pick it back up. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is the last. Up. It has been a couple hours already. I am now ready to do some piping. So remember that like frozen whipped cream I showed you guys earlier? I made two different whipped cream toppings, one with matcha powder and the other one with some yuzu jam. So now I have two different colored creams. First up is my matcha cream. using just like stuff I found around in my kitchen. The lemon zest actually ends up looking a little bit like confetti, so I'm not mad about it. I do think my whipping cream for the matcha, it just looks like little green turds right now, but I'm excited about the flavor. Since this is gonna be for tomorrow, I am just going to let it sit in the fridge overnight and I'll be able to enjoy it in a day's time. I will see you guys then when I am officially another year older.
Go, you can go, go outside and cut it. <laughs> 